Today we're going to be painting Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel. I'm so excited about this movie that I wanted to paint this character. First up, I'm using a water-based metallic blue makeup. I'm carefully applying this color with straight edges specific to where I want everything to be. In order to get these crisp edges, I'm using my shields. I'm doing this because I don't want this blue to mix with any other colors on the body painting. Using my reference, I'm going to do the same thing now with the color red. Because the star on her chest is such a focal point, I'm going to render the base coat of that now before I get too many colors onto the skin. One of the challenges of this body painting is making sure to keep the colors separate. If the red goes over the blue, it's transparent and that would make a purple. Now using various pre-cut shields that I've created based off of the actual design of Captain Marvel, I'm going to apply gold makeup. It's really cool to see the costume come together once the gold is added. Now using a dark gray makeup, I'm going to add shading and details throughout the body painting. As I'm applying the shading and detail, I'm making sure to stay true to the reference. I'm keeping these details minimal but suggestive to the final look. If you're ever going to take a stab at body painting, make sure to use makeup that is FDA compliant for use on skin. Not only is it safe for the model, but it works better than anything else. It's always a lot of fun to replicate comic book characters, especially these strong female leads. The model is perfect for this body painting. It's fun to see the body paint come to life through the model. She really brings it to action with all her crazy poses and energy. This is my first time painting this look, and I'm really impressed with the way it turned out. <laughs> 